Greetings travelers and welcome back to a mod tutorial. Actually this is a upgrade or add-on of sorts. Uh, had a request to do an additional mods or a mod tutorial for better questing with one of the integrations which was for NPCs which is why I have my trusty sidekick Bob here and we're once again back in my secret lair. Um, the question was I was wondering if you would continue the lessons with Better Questing and the Custom NPCs expansion to show how they link up into the same quests. Also, it would be amazing if you showed how to set up a location quest, since whenever I do it, it always auto-completes when I leave edit mode. Sorry, I know you went over a lot of this stuff in the video, but I'm very confused since I'm just seeing the end result. It would be great, and I would appreciate it if you showed the beginning, middle, and end of this process of the better questing with NPCs. But either way, you got a like for me. And that was from Red Wolf 10 million. I think that's the number of zeros there. Uh, Red Wolf, absolutely. Just like I replied, ask and you shall receive. So, the reason we're in here and in my dev environment for Tolkien Craft 3 is because I have a lot of that already done. So rather than reinvent the wheel, I'll just show you the process as I do it and we'll go from there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with the uh, location quest. Because I'd already have been starting to put in some quests for a new chapter and just so happens that one of the first things I do with my quests is I have a location task. So the way you're going to do that, and we'll go out of here and we'll go out of hit edit and pick this and designer. So with a location quest, so you get your main quest. You have to create that. You should have learned that by now, I hope. Uh, when you add your task, it's a location task. Now, you know, to comment towards the always autocomplete, you've got to remember to fill in the coordinates. So if this is a location task, unlike, I believe it was hardcore questing mode where you could push a button and select your current location. This one doesn't have that, but it also has the advantage of being able to do it from wherever. So in this case, you know, one of the locations I've got called Big Tent and I have that location saved as these coordinates. So you have to fill in all three. By default, the zero dimension is, you know, overworld is the one that's selected. Range is usually set to minus one, which means there is no range. So if you're filling out this part, but not doing this, it's probably one of the other reasons it's auto-completing. So always put a range. And the range just depends on what the needs of the quest are. Um, I've done everything from just five because I want players to get right on top of it to I've done 32 because as long as they're in the general area we're good but you got to fill that out in order for it to show up uh, so that should fix that now as far as the NPC quests uh, this one like I said we're going to cover just the NPC integration add-on uh, this also does have the other add-ons that you need by default which is a standard expansion with regular BQ uh, you'll notice icons that are different because I have the Tolkien craft theme uh, I want to take a moment to shout out to Funboy guy he actually custom built this theme uh, it is available on curse but he custom built this theme for me and I don't remember if I mentioned that when I was using this uh, dev environment to show later so we're going to go ahead and start setting up an NPC quest. So the first thing you do is, and I'll show you the tasks that are available. And you have for NPC, you have the NPC quest, NPC faction, and then you have NPC dialogue. Those are the three options with the integration that you have. Now to show you the dialogue task, it's just real simple dialogue ID ID and then you put in a description so when it's done you'll see this dialogue task and well I'll show you what it is when it's actually filled in give me just a moment here do one of these other ones here those are quests I don't do the dialogues too often there we go 
The dialogue task is a little different than the quest task in that the dialogue task isn't going to show you the dialogue that you're going to be talking to them. It'll just tell you the title of the dialogue and the status whether it's complete or incomplete and then your description is what goes here. Uh, I always tend to just put in speak to whoever the, the NPC is. Now for quests, which you saw a little bit of that, quest tasks are right here. So when you do a quest task, you still need the ID, and we'll get into detail on what that is in just a minute. But you put the ID in here, and then it'll pick up. If for some reason it shows blank like the other one, a lot of times what you do is you're going to want to BQ admin save all, uh, or default save, and log out, log back in. If that still doesn't fix it, then you'll have to restart the server so that BQ reloads its quest database. But that's a lot of times why that's blank. Uh, but once it's done right, then when you come in here and you look, it'll tell you the quest title, what its current status, whether it's incomplete or complete, and then it'll tell you what the basically quest, uh, the quest dialog. So when you're looking in L, it's going to be what's in here. This is what shows up. Uh, now, as far as the dialogue, so let's go over here to my little friend Bob. And let me get out of this F5. Every time you create a quest or a dialogue, it will be given an ID. That's how NPC, custom NPCs keeps track of everything. And they're incremental. It'll just go up by one for each new one. So the idea is, is like in my case, the one that I showed you an example of was this one. Uh, this is the last dialogue in the series talking with the NPC that this comes up with. Now, I'm good. since this isn't a custom NPC tutorial, just be Q, I'm going to assume you know how to set all this up. But you'll want to get this ID number, and it, well, and I'll show you for the quest. That's the same on quests. There'll be a quest ID, and they're not the same because it's a separate uh, tracking that custom NPCs does, one for quests, one for dialogues. But you'll need that ID so that when you're in here editing the tasks, you can put the right one in here. And then what it'll do is BQ will double check as you're talking. Once you complete that quest, it'll run, you know, the completion standard. Now, the faction one, that one, same thing, same concept. You need the faction ID, which, again, I will show you. When you're in the global and factions, each faction has its own ID. And that's what you need. So that when you're in the book, setting up... Oop, go back. When you're setting up these quests, i go back here to Designer... It'll track what your current faction level is for that faction. It'll tell you the name of the faction and how much your current points are to track for quest completion. Uh, if you go back here, you can see back in here, got to have that much. Currently, I have zero. Uh, it doesn't show like progress. So if you want to see where you're currently at, I mean. It's not going to really show you your current points. It's just when you hit that amount, then it tracks. Uh, same here. You can see I got... It'll update every so often. Uh, but that's the same thing. So when you edit tasks, faction tasks, you get the faction ID, what the target is for the amount, and then whether you want more or equal. You can also do equal to... Uh, you can do more basic ones. Alright, so then of course once that's completed, then you can give whatever reward. Now, some nice things you can do with this if you're going to do it. Um, and this is just more because of better questing and this is some of the more advanced stuff that you can do. If you look like here, this is, I'm starting this chapter and I've just got the first few bits put in. But like in my case, what I've done is this is a hidden quest. It does not show up by default. Players can't see it. Players don't interact with it. It's just sitting hidden in the background. And what it does is it looks for this dialogue to be read. Once it detects that dialogue is read, 
it will auto claim in this case I did a console command and I will show you what it does go back here and we'll do quest completion and we'll go back here and then we can go in here and claim and in this case it does a title now I did those so that after talking to the NPCs and triggering the dialogue it's basically just a fancy way of letting players know you're now moving into the next stage of the quest line uh, and you can actually get even more involved I gotta stop hitting the eye it keeps doing I keep going in there uh, there's some others like if I go over here you'll see this one's only got a few but like this one what this does and I'll show you there's several commands here but oh, we'll go back here and this one I've set it up so that based on whatever was going on for that quest it auto starts a quest because you can use commands in better questing this will then allow you to start a specific quest again follow the commands on how a custom NPC sets up but this way it triggers this quest to start for the player and then this one starts another quest for the player and then this one and the reason I did that is because unlike custom NPCs where a, one dialogue triggers one quest with custom or with better questing integration uh, it works out because now I can once I do a specific item like in this case dialogue I can now tell better questing to trigger adding additional quests in this case there's three additional quests that the player will now get in their quest log to go complete so that it gives you a little bit more depth for the quest that you're setting up between better questing and custom NPCs because now you can have like in one case I have a quest where the giver tells the player hey I need you to go do these tasks for these people instead of having one quest where you have to go and hope the player does whatever the task says now you can have a quest for each part of the task uh, one that I've been working on I'll be working on with this new category is Elrond is going to want the player to go talk to Aragorn and Boromir and each of those guys will have their own quest to give so what I would typically do so in order to do that I have it set up to trigger two additional quests so that you can then do the different parts and this way it prevents you from having to have a player stuck in a specific order uh, a good example of this is in my previous mod pack when I didn't have better questing HQM didn't allow for any kind of random order in other words the player had to do it in a specific order or it wouldn't work uh, whereas now with this I can give the player say three different quests they can complete them in any order they want but still ultimately get the main quest that I want completed done but in the order the, the player decides to do so um, like back here was it here I did it yeah so like this one here one of the first quest chains you know what it is is that you have to go to different caves and search for a person and I say search in quotes because you're actually using in this case I'm using a combination of Minecraft scoreboard to detect using command blocks if a player is holding a very specific item in their hand and to get around cheating uh, there is custom NBT that I manually entered into the item that they get when they hold it it detects that that specific item is held and it does whatever task it is but I didn't want the player to have to go to these three caves in a specific order so they got three different quests for one for each cave and then that way the player could go to whichever cave they wanted to first second and third the end result is when it was done then it completed this quest
which there was a corresponding one in custom NPC. So it worked out really, really well. Um, but the, the real key for making sure that these work properly, again, is paying attention to the dialogue ID, which once again, you get that from within the custom NPC editor when you look at, well, we'll do dialogue since that's the one I was doing. Um, dialogues and there it is, dialogue 41, because what's gonna happen is after you read that, that'll trigger and open the next quest in the chain. And you can kind of get fancy. I mean, I could go all day on, on different methods that you could do. All I have to say is just, give it a try play around with it you know I got to this just literally tinkering around with the best the, the quest book and you know you don't have to strictly just use NPCs in the book like I said I've got stuff here where I use command blocks and then of course custom NPCs also has uh, scenes which there are plenty of videos on YouTube for describing what scenes are and how to use them but you can even use that to do things like trigger additional quests or or dialogues being read and you know just kind of combination of all those things to really get some pretty fancy quests going with better questing and custom NPCs and in my case as you can see I try to use the better questing more as a journal of sorts to kind of help the player stay on track but in a way that the player can't get too far ahead without doing the quests and better questing to help keep them on track because if they get too far things won't sync up and they either won't have the quest they need to complete or they won't have the item so you kind of use it as as a stopgap to make sure to help the player stay on track the entire time they're questing so you know the I hope that helps I, I Without, I mean, really, there's not a whole lot I can do is actually show other than showing you the steps of what I did for each one because it's really more a matter of practice. Um, I can show you, like I did with the dialogues, making sure to pay attention to the dialogue and quest IDs and the faction IDs, but really it gets down to just going through and trying it all out. You know, if you guys are doing this and you come across anything that, that seems to be difficult or not working the way you expect, by all means. Reach out to me in the comments of the video. I'll do what I can to help. But, yeah, that should be it for better questing the NPC in integration module. So, you guys, have fun. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe down below and the notification bell so you know when new videos come out each week. Social media links are down in the description, so come on by. Don't forget to check out my sponsor, Aim the Game, for all your gaming server needs. Hope you guys had fun, and as always, everyone have a great day.